Hello, my name is Miguel Tanco. I'm an author and illustrator for children books. I'm here at my studio at home. I live in Italy, in, uh, in Milan, right from Spain. I speak a little bit English. I was living in New York for three years, but you can see my English is a little rusty. I hope you can understand me well. Well, today I'm going to read and I'm going to tell you about a little bit about one of my books. It's called Count on Me. And we're going to discover it together. Well, this is a book that speaks a little bit about passions, the things that we like to do in life. I like to, to illustrate, to make stories. I like a lot to paint, to, to draw. And we're going to discover the passion of this little girl. Here, there's a little hint, but I think you cannot tell you yet. Let's see. Okay, let's go. Here you can see she is playing hopscotch. There's another hint. At home, everyone has a passion. My dad has one. You can see the passion of the dad is the same as, as mine. And my mom has another one. Mom likes insects. He's an entomologist. My brother loves music and he's getting very good at it. You can see the brother. At school, there are all sorts of activities that could be my passion. Let's see. Acting, dancing, painting, is cooking, is singing, to tennis, karate, is playing music. I've tried them all, but they're just aren't for me. Let's see if you discover the passion of this guy. There's one thing that I really like though. Can you see it? Math. She's doing math in painting classes. I did the same, but the opposite. Math is all around us. It's often hidden and I love finding it. Can you find math here? It's very difficult to find math here. Let's see how the girl finds math all around her. There are geometric shapes in the playground. Do you know what geometric shapes are? It's like triangle, they're like uh, squares, circles. And when we go to the lake, I skip stones to see the concentric circles form in the water. We live in a world of shapes, and I like to play with them. It's fun for me to find the perfect curve and solve difficult group problems. I use math every day. I know that my passion can be hard to understand. She's finding math in the paintings. It's very strange. But there are infinite ways to see the world. And math is one of them. This is the end of the book, but then there's a little surprise. What is this? This is writing a journal. If you pay attention on the other pages, she has a journal. Can you see it? The journal is here. As you write on the journal, all the math that she's finding out. Can you see it here? And she's writing. So then you can see in the journal all the things that she wrote. All the things about math. You can see the fractals on the trees. You can see the, the polygons. You can see the concentric circles, you can see the solid figures, and you can study a little bit math with this little journal of the girl. The trajectories, the kind of sets. So this is the end of the book.
I dedicate this book to the people who follow their passion and reach the stars. So follow your passion. It doesn't matter how strange it is. Well, as you can see, math could be fun also. You can see the world through math like this, this little girl. And if you want, you can play a little bit with uh, like the girl does. You can go outside and see the, the trees. You can see the hidden figures, like the geometric figures. You can see the fractals. There are a lot of fractals in, in nature. There's a lot of uh, hidden math outside and you can find it. It's a, it's a great game and I think you're going to enjoy it. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I had a lot of fun making this book and I had a lot of fun discovering the, the hidden uh, math in nature and I hope you do too. Bye.